Breast Heals Have a Story, a story of overcoming breast cancer at 25. At age 25, I was single for the first time in five years. I started a new career that I was really excited about. I was very social, very happy. How did you find out you had breast cancer? When I went to the doctor and I asked him to check out this lump that I had for about three years, uh, not connecting the dots that I had this. Three years ago after, I, after a surgery, I had breast implants and um, there was a lump there and I was told that it was a swollen lymph node. Then a couple of years later, when I found it again, um, and a shiver went down my spine, I felt something was instinctively wrong. What was the diagnosis? It was a stage two breast cancer. When he told me that, I felt like, okay, I'm gonna fight this, I'm gonna get through this. But when he told me I was gonna lose my hair, was when I felt, oh no, how do I, how do I deal with this part of it? I was young and ready to take on the world and figure the rest of my life out, and I didn't know how I was gonna do that with uh, no hair on my head and looking really sick. I definitely went through some sort of depression, but I did have more of a positive spin on it to empower myself while going through it. Um, at the time, wearing high heels for me was a big deal, and I said that I would keep doing that through my treatments, and that was my way of keeping my sense of self. And so I would uh, wear my heels, I would write um, funny sayings on my t-shirts, and wear wraps with flowers in my hair, and um, I just tried to keep that momentum still going while I was slowly starting to look so different from what I was used to seeing myself look like. So what did the heels mean to you? What, what was the symbol? The symbol was a reminder to keep my sense of self, and I wanted that to kind of be a symbol for remind other people through my story to keep their sense of self. And so that's what I was holding on to for dear life. And that's what sort of led you to create your foundation? What led me was the fact that I was so young and um, I, there wasn't a lot of, there wasn't any young women at the time uh, talking about their story. This was also the beginning of social media. And um, so we were just starting to connect just as people through this platform. Uh, my mission is to just power young women going through cancer or afterwards. It's even more emotional, I think, for myself and some others after as well too, the treatments stop. Um, and also to spread awareness that young women do get breast cancer. In my foundation, um, we have life coaching and social activities for girls with and after cancer. Um, and then opportunities like this to share my story help spread it as well. I know you love fashion. How has it shaped this journey? So fashion for me has played uh, such a big part in my life and through this journey. It's just a way of me expressing myself and, and visiting all the different sides of myself. I feel like every couple, every five to ten years I change my style. Uh, and you know, years later it brought me to Pernovia uh, to work as a bridal consultant, so I get to style brides. So I still get to empower women through this sensitive time in their lives, and it allows me to be creative, it allows me to connect with other women, and I get women that are cancer survivors, or you know, have gone through other illnesses or um, obstacles. It's been 10 years since you were diagnosed with breast cancer. How's your health now? My health is great. Yay! <laughs> Um, and I'm just really happy to say it's been tier, 10 years later. Um, I don't take it for granted. My advice for young women to, uh, for their own health and for checkups is to be on it. No one's going to advocate for you more than yourself. And um, without your health, you have nothing. Mm -hmm.